how you doing? All right, I am back in Happy Hoppers, Volume 1. Now, I will eventually go through the entire book and do a flip through and show you everything, but right now, if I can find this specific page I'm looking for, somebody on the Coloring Books Keep It Clean commented on that ball of yarn and how it looks like there's so much depth to it. Now, in this book, a good many of the pages, let's just look at this one. See the dots? See where they're closer together? That's kind of a hint that that's where the shadow is going to go. So this is a great series of books if you're just starting out and not real sure. See the dots are along the bottom of the baby carriage with the bunnies. So anyway, so that was very helpful in doing the yarn. And I've started folding this book back and putting it in a clipboard because I'm actually working in my lap on the sofa in the evenings. But And the clear plastic is to keep my coloring from leaving indentations on the next page. But anyway, here we go. So what I want to show you is the embroidery floss. It's not real hard, but this is another one where, let's see, I'm going to turn it just like that. And then I'm going to start coloring on some of this. This is another one where you want to look, though, at what's in the back and what's in front. And that's where your shading is going to go. That's where your item is going to look more dimensional. I know that this is probably in a red. And I had pulled my reds and my teals. And I'm thinking, ah, I've got to go with the red. I know I could do the teal. It would be no big deal. Perfectly fine. You know what? I'll use those teals on the scissors. I actually have scissors with a teal handle. So that makes sense to me, right? All right. I am sharpening these pencils just a little bit because the embroidery floss is so tiny. I want to be able to get in there easily. So I am using, and see the names have all just worn off. So I'm glad I went in and numbered them. This is number 73. It's some sort of a orangey red. And then this one's carmine red, and it's number 49. These are from Artesia. Now, someone said they had dropped a couple of bucks in my account. It hasn't shown up, so I'm not sure where they put it. But thank you. Thanks for the thought. <laughs> and yes, when I get enough, I will be getting um, the next set of pencils, the really big set that they sell, because I would love to do some really cool stuff in these books. In all my books, I... Um, the pencils are creamy. They're easy to use. They are a wax space, but I don't get that build up as much, and they really feel like, there's that word that can get us into trouble, feel like, but they really feel almost like an oil pencil, but they're not. They are a wax. So as you can see, I am just laying down the color. I'm just going to get the color in there. So nothing real special about that. The dimension will start coming in as we start laying down that second color. All right. So now what we really have to look at and I've got you zoomed in as far as it'll let me, is what is behind and what is in front. Well, first of all, I'll erase that later. The label is over the top of all this. 
So, a little bit of red going on there. Okay, so we're going to do that in all the places first. Just deepen that up just a bit. Then I'm going to look and see what's underneath. This is in the very back sticking out from under all this. So I'm going to go over it with the red. See, that just pushed it down to the back. This little piece here is in the back. I'm going to color it in. This is in the back. This, I'm going to do just these edges that are underneath this coming around. Okay? Then I'm going to go over here and do these edges. And then just lightly, just barely kissing that paper, doing those other bits. Okay, so that pushed all of that down, and I was allowed to pop that up some. I am going to grab pumpkin number 52, and I'm going to use it over the top of the straight color, the original color, and right here at the top. What that did was brighten that up a little to give even a little more contrast. Now let's go look at the next section. This is down in the back. This is in the back. This is in the back. This a little bit. See how I'm getting that? You see how, what I'm seeing? Then I'm gonna take again number 52 and just kind of blend a little bit. Because there is a lot of white tooth still showing through there. Okay, now let's go to the darker again. This is coming behind. It's coming behind here too. This is all coming behind. This is underneath and that. So anything that's sticking out underneath, that's what I'm hitting with this darker color. Way back in here right through here so it's layers it's as if you've watched them wrap all that embroidery floss around and you're just going to hit at what was in the back and make it a little darker okay so I don't know if that helps at all you can see in here where that was in the back, so I made it a little darker. This was in the back. This was in the back. So it may be that I can come in here with this brown. This is Sienna Brown, number 48. Let me go in and do some of the darks even a little bit darker just to help you see them, okay? Just to help deepen that up, okay? So that whole section should look like it just got pushed down or that the other section got popped up. In here, it's this middle piece, this piece, this in here. You just want to get those layers in. It's so important to get your layers if you're trying to get that depth. See, and I can go across there, just fade it out a little. Across here, fade it. And then let's go for what's on bottom. What's actually not got a thread coming all the way through. See, this comes all the way around, so we're not going to touch it. This sticks out from right there, so we can hit it. And this, and right here and here. So now then, that should be a little better on that one. And I can blend more of that later. It's just taking those layers. See, this is sticking out. 
so there's the shadow over the top and that's what we're trying to do here let's go over to the scissors real quick because we've got time so now I've pulled 89 ocean blue and 17 which is turquoise so I'm going to do these scissors in the turquoise see where the dots are through here and here here and here so that's the area that I'm going to deepen with the other color trying to keep my hand out of the camera I know it's not always easy oh did I make y'all's um you that are subscribers did your notifications blow up today <laughs> sorry about that yeah I had a um, group that I did sewing tutorials or videos for the Girl Scouts so bless their hearts young girls trying to earn badges and a lot of them really don't know anything about sewing and uh, so it was a treat to get to do those but I wanted to get them out to them as soon as I could and the only way to do that was to put them on my YouTube which unfortunately blew up y'all's YouTube but I figured you'd understand so that was the lighter of the two now the darker I'm gonna come around here blend just a little coming out not a whole lot because that is actually a straight edge on those scissors this is the inside here's an inside curve and then here's that other outer curve yeah I had to explain to the girls that you don't use your paper scissors your crafting scissors um, with your sewing and you don't use your sewing with your crafting yeah my family knows don't touch my sewing scissors will dull the blade so fast if you use it on paper and did you know that when paper scissors start dulling you can actually cut through some aluminum foil my daughter sends her hole punches through with aluminum foil it helps them to get a little better I was like, well, that's cool to know. I am going to use white on top of this for grins. Why not? You know, I want to blend it a little more, but I don't want to make it any darker. So that's why I'm coming in with white. I don't mind if it's a little streaked looking, but I just want that white tooth of the paper to be evened out a bit. Okay, so can you tell a difference? That versus that one? Okay. I think my lighting must be really off tonight. Not sure what's going on. Maybe I have video fatigue. Is that a thing? Can I claim that? <laughs> All right. And again, as usual, I will work with that some more. This through here, all this and the skinny, skinny line. Okay, I'm going to zoom back some. And then all these pieces here, because they are so skinny, I may use a gel pen. Mm, then again, I may not. I'm having thoughts right now. Okay, so what if... I take this area this is a good place to learn what's on top what's on bottom so anything that's on top gets the brighter color so this goes around on top of everything okay 
this line is going over the top of that line so it gets brighter but it goes underneath that so can't go over too far this is on top but then it goes under there this goes under it goes under and under so let's just do just a little bit there just so that the whole thing's not so dark do the same thing here we'll do just a piece of this in the light just so it's not all dark and then this one is all on top and yeah this is teen tiny I can barely get my lead in there so that's why I was thinking a gel pen and then as it slides over whoops goes underneath skip it only what's on top okay then I'm going to come back with that second color the one that's more red and now we do everything that's underneath maybe I should have started with this side to have shown you more of what I meant about what was under and what was over and yeah it still just looks like a jumbled hot mess but at least we've got some layering in there so you just look at what goes underneath and what goes on top and yeah these these pencils the leads are not small enough to get in there I'll have to do some touch up then over here I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this because it's on top if I can get in there little bitty my goodness all right and then all of these I'm just gonna hash just hash across them yeah sometimes there's not an easy answer but when you're flipping through the book looking at it again later your eye will fix a multitude of things that are wrong see because doesn't that look like a heart and I kind of just went at it I didn't stay in any of those lines so remember as you're coloring sometimes it's not maybe worth all that extra but anyway there's my little cross my heart guy He's done. Hope you enjoy. Again, if you're so inspired to help me get the larger set of these pencils or any new coloring book, feel free to donate to the cause. And uh, there is a place across the top. If you're on your phone on YouTube, I'm actually going to show you where it's at. So I'm not always on my phone. So I guess my lighting's a little off. There we go. So you're on my channel. Scroll. Ah, now see where it's got all this stuff? Scroll across, hit about and then it'll have donate and support me so yeah if everybody just gave a buck i could get a lot of stuff but yeah all those views no i've had one donation so anyway i'm just putting it out there thank you all for watching and have a great rest of the day bye